Now let's get it over with the awarding of the 2021 Ig Nobel Prizes. The Transportation Prize. The winners represent these countries, Namibia, South Africa, Tanzania, Brazil, the UK, and the USA for determining by experiment whether it is safer to transport an airborne rhinoceros upside down. And we were good to go, good to lift a rhino with a helicopter. The thing I love about wildlife veterinarians is you guys have to really think on your feet and think outside the box. And um, I think hanging rhinos upside down is a good example. For demonstrating that sexual orgasms can be as effective as decongestant medicines at improving nasal breathing. They found out that sexual intercourse with <sighs> orgasm can improve nasal breathing to the same degree as decongestive nasal spray. So if you or your partner suffer from a blocked nose, there might be a natural solution with positive side effects. Give it a try. You're welcome. The economics prize is awarded to Pavlo Blavatsky for discovering that the obesity of a country's politicians may be a good indicator of that country's corruption. I found that countries that are perceived as relatively corrupt have relatively high estimated body mass index of a median cabinet minister, whereas countries that are perceived as less corrupt have slimmer politicians. The Ig Nobel Peace Prize is awarded to Ethan Becerris, Stephen Nailway, and David Carrier for testing the hypothesis that humans evolved beards to protect themselves from punches to the face. We found that the total energy absorbed by the samples was 37% greater when the sample was covered with the fleece. This result is consistent with the hypothesis that humans are anatomically specialized for fighting with fists.